So we're ready to choose our paint now. And Santex comes in two main finishes. We have an ultra smooth, which is great for over large surface areas and is easy to apply. We also have a fine textured paint, which is ideal for high exposed areas where you want a little bit more added durability. Now both of these paints would be ideal for this house and they both would last up to 15 years, provided you've applied them in the correct way. One of the unique properties of Santex is the MicroSeal technology. This enables the paint to stay cleaner for much longer than a normal masonry paint and also a little bit more breathable, so therefore the paint will last a little bit longer. Now we'd normally recommend two coats of masonry to give you a nice even film thickness. However, you can actually get a one coat masonry paint from Santex as well. So now we know what type of paint we're going to choose, we actually need to find out how much paint we're going to need. This is quite simple really, all you need to do is measure the height, times that against the width, and that will give you a square meterage. Obviously you've got to take into account any windows or doors or any other areas that you're not going to paint. And if you look on the back of the pack, it actually does give you the coverage and the square meters per litre. So there we go. So we know what type of paint we require. We know how much paint we require, but we haven't really chose the colours yet. And obviously that's one of the most important things when you're choosing paint. Well, Santex offer you some help there because obviously we've got the uh, ubiquitous colour card. We're probably one of the largest colour ranges available in the market. One thing that might be of help to you is actually buying one of the Santex tester pots. And these are fantastic for helping you choose your colour. There's one little tip though, rather than painting actually onto the wall and then ending up with a blob on the wall that you might not like, it's much easier if you use something like a piece of card or a piece of plasterboard. Obviously colours will look different at different times of the day, depending on the light, also at the front of the house or the side of the house. So this will allow you to actually choose your colour and get the right ones at the first time. So you've worked out how much paint you need. Obviously the next stage now is going by the paint. Just want to make sure you get enough paint to finish the job because it's always easier to take paint back to the shop that you haven't used than actually run out halfway through the job. Mm -hmm.